you can see the completed main rows. I may change some things up as I go, but right now that looks okay. I kind of these too much look too much alike, but I'm going to let the other roses kind of dictate to tell me what I need to do. One of the things that I'm finding that works really well, let me get this into view better. Whoops, let me see is that if I sketch where I want my flower petals and get a little plan going it works much better so right here on this one you can see the sketch sorta of, camera doesn't show it real clear let me see if I can get up closer where you can see it there you go and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna use a little bit of a liner right now First, I'm going to uh, come in and kind of go with a lot of water. There's quite a bit of water in that. Where I want some of these interesting shapes. This is a nice little brush. It's a little uh, silver script. Um, I'm making it work here. So I'm just making patterns right now of shadows here in the center of the flower. Do the same thing here where that shadow is going to go here, shadow is going to go there. Then I'm going to take water and soften it. So this is another approach. Water will feed into water. So I did not wet this flower. Only using what I've got on my brush. softening now. You can see it. Whoops. There we go. Leave that light there though because it's going to help separate the petals. Just water on the brush now to soften. I need a little bit more depth. So let that connect. See where I don't have water, I have a real uh, crisp highlight there. bug came from. And I don't want to get that side too dark because that's going to be the light side. This is the shadow side. This is called kind of a dry brush. I'm just dry brushing the paint on. The brush is kind of dry. more water in there so I can soak up some more. There we go. And use the little brush again. Make some of this little calligraphy. That I like to see. And 
I do it when it's wet, it won't be too stark. You get the idea. See how I'm separating things. It's a nice rounded brush. This is a very good one. It's by um, Low Cornell. I use this one a lot. It's a 720 round. 7020 round number 10. Hey, get the idea. That's how I do watercolor roses.